The two best words in basketball, Game 7. The Minnesota Timberwolves and the Denver Nuggets are headed to a Game 7 after a crazy performance from Ant Edwards and Jaden McDaniels. The X Factor in this series is going to be Jaden McDaniels. He had 21 points on 8 for 10 shooting. Uh, we think of him more as a defensive specialist, but I've said it many times before. I think if he adds more offensive tools to his game, I think that he's going to take this team to the next level. And Edwards back against the wall. He played like the superstar that he is. Having Mike Conley back was definitely a help. And Carl Anthony Towns didn't even have to play that well. He only had 10 points. Um, but they're all just in better spirits, moving the ball around. They always say that role players play better at home. And we definitely seen that tonight. And then on the flip side, looking at the Nuggets, their role players didn't show up at all. They just had nine bench points. Jamal Murray, 10 points. KCP, nine points. Like these are playoff duds from dudes who usually show up. Only so much that Jokic could do by himself. Him and Aaron Gordon have been pretty consistent as far as just uh, getting it going in the paint. But that still wasn't enough to last this Minnesota team. And... It's going to be a crazy Game 7. I'm going to stick with my pick. I said that, that if they get to a Game 7, Denver's going to take it. But the last time we had a Game 7 in Denver, my Portland Trailblazers took down the Denver Nuggets. So it's going to take a heroic performance similar to what C.J. McCollum did. I think that Nas Reed is going to have to have a great game. I think that Jay McDaniels is going to have to give you 20 again. I think he can do it, but they're really going to need that. I feel like if he doesn't show up offensively like the way he did tonight, it's going to be a tough game for Minnesota, especially without that experience of being in that type of environment in this type of situation in the playoffs. Um, but I think Ann Edwards is ready. The marquee matchups really are just the role players. Whoever's role players play better is going to win this game. That's, I think it's just that simple. I don't even think it matters how well Jokic plays or how well Ant plays. It's going to come down to the others. Will Justin Holiday keep producing off the bench? You know, he didn't really do much in this game, but he's been pretty solid and he's been a hidden gem so far for them in these playoffs. Will Nikhil Alexander-Walker continue to push through, continue to come through, hitting open shots, get into the basket, making the right plays? Rudy Gobert, is Cat going to be on the backside to help him when Jokic drives to the basket? Are we going to rotate when we do decide to throw a double team at Jokic because we know that Aaron Gordon's going to slide down the backside? Just eliminating the baseline cuts and trying to take away Jokic's vision is the key for Minnesota to win this game. As far as Denver beating the Minnesota Timberwolves, I just think that Jamal Murray's going to have to come through and have a big game. I don't know how to feel about Christian Brown. I think he's been... So, so, you know, I think I expected him to come in with a bigger role, especially with no Bruce Brown there this year, uh, no Jeff Green. And he's just been OK. I feel like Justin Holiday's really been outplaying him and he's earned his minutes. And now we see him uh, giving them production adjustments for the Minnesota Timberwolves. I think they just need to come in with the right mindset. I think after they went up 2-0, they got a little comfortable. They got a little complacent in those first two games. They also just took advantage of the fact that Denver didn't play well. They didn't come ready to play. But now that uh, these two teams have figured each other out, it's going to come down to role players, who plays the hardest, and who's just mentally sharp. And Carl Anthony Towns, one of the more experienced players on this Minnesota Timberwolves team, I think he's going to have to have a big game. Ten points in Denver is not going to work. Jay McDaniels, his five to eight points, that's not going to work either. He's going to have to have at least 15 at, at the very least. Rudy Gobert, we need a double-double out of him. And then Nas Reed, again, he's a sixth man of the year. We got to go out and show it. The second chance points of rebounding, I think whoever wins that side of the ball is going to have a great shot winning the game. Cat and Rudy, I've noticed in these couple games that Rudy does is not a great rebounder. He had 14 rebounds this game. But I've seen him take plays off on the offensive and defensive rebounding glass. Um, so he really needs to go after and get every single rebound. Same with Cat. It's not just one shot and get back on defense. I think there needs to be some sort of adjustment where the bigs are crashing the boards. Whoever's on top of the key, you go run back in transition. I think that's been taught since a young age. So that just needs something that is something that needs to be fulfilled utilize whatever they need to do they need to make sure that it's clear cut on who's crashing the boards and who's getting back on defense because limiting the transition points for both teams is going to be very key both teams thrive off the transition i think especially minnesota i think minnesota has the upper hand in that situation just because there's more athleticism on that end but, you know when Jokic is in the open court 
we got to make sure we're getting back out there and taking away his options. If I'm the Timberwolves, I'm taking everybody else away. I know that Jokic is going to give me the numbers. I know that he's going to go to work, but taking away the others, taking away his options, if he beats us by himself, it is what it is. Denver looking at Minnesota, I think that you got to take away some shooting. If I'm the Nuggets, my mindset going in is like Jaden McDaniels is not going to hit these type of shots again. I think that Denver's going to come in and dare him to shoot. Let him beat you guys. Limiting the backdoor cuts, limiting a Jokic's vision, and then on the other side, just winning the offensive and defensive boards, picking apart Rudy Gobert and Carl Anthony Towns. If you get them in foul trouble early, it's going to be a tough game for Minnesota.